Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft's RL Craft mod. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to get a hold of wood and wood planks, which normally is a very easy, simple process in Minecraft, but is made a bit more challenging in the RL Craft mod. Uh, now, if you find this video helpful and you like it, please be sure to click like. But most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button. That way you can see all my videos and tutorials as they come out. Okay. So to get a hold of wood uh, and to be able to get wood and wood planks, obviously there's the trees. The issue with Minecraft RL is if you just go ahead and you break the wood blocks with, say, your hand, you will not get any wood from that, as you normally would in vanilla or many other mods. It'll just destroy that item. So to get wood, you need an axe. So let's take a look at that. The first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to get a hold of some flint. And flint can be um, achieved by breaking gravel. Gravel can be found a lot of times around water, lakes, things of that nature. And just by breaking gravel, eventually you get a chance of dropping flint. Now, I'm in creative, so it's not dropping any for me. But normally, by breaking the gravel, you'll get a hold of some flint. Now, once you have some flint, the next step is you need to get some flint shards. To do that, you need to take flint, basically break it on a solid block stone of any type would be an example so if we were to go over here and we take our flint and we right click it breaks that flint into flint shards now thing to be aware of of course in whenever playing rl craft is items do not automatically go into your inventory when you walk over them you either have to right click to pick them up or if you just press shift it'll pick up all items around you within a certain radius so picking them up manually uh, is the only way to get items in the game. So once you've got a hold of some flint shards, the next step for that is we're going to, in our in a crafting um, table, in your crafting grid, you're going to make a flint knife. Now a flint knife is a, one of those flint shards we just made and a stick. Now, how do you get a stick without wood? There's a couple options. The easiest route is to just go ahead and break leaves on a tree. If you break leaves on a tree, eventually a stick will fall. Now, again, I'm in creative, so it's not going to work for me. But in a normal game, in survival, breaking leaves eventually will drop a stick. And then you just pick that up. Got a hold of some sticks. You're going to go into your crafting grid, and you're just going to use a stick and one of those flint shards. And that's going to give you a flint knife. Let's go ahead and grab that. So, once you have a flint knife, the next component you're going to need is plant string. To get plant string... You're going to use your flint knife on grass. Much like the other items we've used with gravel and such, cutting it with the knife will eventually drop some plant string. Now again, I, it's not going to work for me in creative, but you just basically you're just going to use your knife on grass, and eventually it's going to drop plant strings for you. Now once you've got your plant strings, you're going to go back into your crafting grid, and you're going to combine one of those plant strings with a stick and a flint shard, and that is going to give you your flint axe. So to get your first actual item, or tool if you will, that's going to be able to get wood, you do not have to have a crafting table. You can make that in just your 4x4 crafting grid in your standard inventory. So now that we've got a hold of our flint axe, we can go over to the tree of our choice and we can cut it down. Now, a couple different ways you can do that. You can cut it down block by block, or you can cut off individual branches. But one of the best things you can do is just by chopping down the bottom, It'll cause the entire tree to fall. As it does, it'll pop out into whatever items such as sticks, acorns, and oak wood. Now, in this situation, it broke the ground because, again, I'm in creative. But then we can just go ahead and we can pick up that wood, up the sticks that fell, the acorns. We can grab those as well. So now we have wood. Now, how do we get wood into wood planks? And that's the final challenge. Because normally, in a crafting grid, you would just go ahead and put your wood in there and it would automatically turn into planks. It does not do that in Minecraft RL. What you have to do is you have to set the wood back down and then using an axe, you're going to right click on the top of it and it's going to turn it into planks, which you can then pick up. And you now have your wood planks. Pressing shift will pick up everything in that area. So now you have wood planks to build with. Now, if you need to get a large amount of sticks, you can do the same thing as you did to get planks by on top of your planks, right-clicking, and that will turn that into sticks. Because again, wood will not just automatically convert into sticks. 
in a crafting grid or crafting table as it normally would in most versions of Minecraft. But if you follow those steps, that's going to go ahead and give you basically wood. And you're going to be able to use that to craft some basic items. And then you'll be able to use that wooden planks you've made to make your first crafting table, which will then allow you to move into more advanced tools such as stone. And for stone, super easy. You're just going to go around. You're going to pick up some rocks. You're going to put those four rocks in a crafting grid, and that will give you a piece of stone of that type of cobblestone. You then start making cobblestone tools inside your crafting table. But that's the basics of how to basically get wood and wood planks and sticks in Minecraft RL. Um, if you have any questions about this tutorial or any of my tutorials, please be sure to uh, put those down in the comments and I'll do my best to get back with you as quickly as I can, as well as if you have any recommendations or suggestions for other tutorials you'd like to see in RL Minecraft, please throw those down there as well. I'm always looking for new ideas. You can also go to my website, onlydraven.com. Bottom of the homepage is a place where you can send direct feedback or questions via email, and you can do that anonymously. On the website, you'll also find links to all my tutorials and videos, my streaming schedule, links to my social media accounts, and other resources. So I do recommend checking out the website. But that's going to do us for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.